Hi everyone, welcome to Freebird Spirit YouTube channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've posted, so um, I am back and uh, I've been busy doing live streams, so you can find all that information in the description below. I do uh, my live stream on Sundays at 11 11, but I also join two other readers during the week and um, all that is in the description below. I want to give a shout out to all the subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and uh, all the likes and all the shares. And also thank you for those who have been donating to the channel. It really does help and I appreciate it. And I'm so grateful. So blessings to you. I, um, yeah, so today, as you can see, there's three decks here. So um, please uh, choose the deck that is resonating with you and calling to you. And then um, I'll do a little reading, um, a little mini reading um, on uh, maybe advice or direction from spirit for you. Okay, so advice and direction from spirit for you. All right, we will start with deck one here. Put these aside. And let's get started. We will start with an overall energy card for group one. What direction, advice, direction from spirit. Okay, so the vision I was shown for group one um, and some of you may resonate with this or not, but I'm seeing you uh, standing at a crossroad actually, and you're looking, um, which direction should I go? So let's see how this fits in with the reading. This is my Rumi, Rumi tarot deck. And you have the king of coins coming in here. So that's bringing in that security. Um, and Rumi says, look how wonderful my game is. My dress, extraordinarily beautiful. beautiful. So everything, he's very proud of where he's come and he feels really good about himself. And he feels beautiful. So that's beautiful. So, and that's good. Looking wonderful looking good for the game so let's see where that goes so anyways that security coming in there we'll put him back here as the overall energy okay so let's take a look what that means I'm wondering which way to go on that path Hmm. Ah, so you have the five of wands in the middle there and the four of wands. Interesting. With the ace of wands and the five of cups. So Okay, so even though you know you have this great idea um, and this great opportunity, creative, whatever that is for you um, to move forward in, you know, make, because of the crossroads and you're looking which way to go. So there's been something offered here. And right here in the middle, it, it's kind of like with the five of wands, you're all up in your head about it. Um, kind of bringing a little bit of battle within you, wondering, um, because it's, it's kind of caused an up, a, a, a little bit of an up thing, but, but with the Four of Wands right there, crossing it, it's, it's an opportunity, it's bringing in some joy, it's getting you out there, right? And um, not only joy for you, but joy to everyone around you, it's bringing that happiness It'll, opportunity to bring in that more happiness to you um but with the five of cups here again uh it's kind of like but i've been hurt before 
going down this direction. So whatever this energy is for you. So if this is um, like a, a love opportunity um, for a relationship, you're kind of concerned because you've been hurt before and you're looking back on that and you're kind of bringing that forward. And I feel like um, that may, that's what's making you wonder if I should go, should I go down this path or what, you know? Um, but looking at the overall energy card with that king of coins, it's like, you're good. It's good. Um, it's important that we don't bring those cups forward in any new adventure, right? So yes, we learn from the past. We learn from our, what's happened to us before or our own mistakes or other people's hurt, hurt us or whatever that we've learned from that. And so take what you've learned, but leave the rest behind because you don't want to um, put that energy onto the new the new energy coming in, whether that's a job, whether that's a relationship, whatever that looks like for you, um, it's important that we we don't bring that through, but do bring the lessons because we don't want to repeat that, right? So, but it looks very secure. Let's take it a little bit further and I'm going to use these cards, okay. Let's see. Up in here a little bit further. Okay. This. Okay. Yep. We have the writer. We have the maze. And we have the magnifying glass there. Okay. So what's going to happen? What's happening here? Sorry about that. I feel like you're seeing the bottom. I don't know what's going on. Sorry about that. Okay. Whatever. All right. Okay. So looking at this, we have the Ace of Wands and it's coupled with the maze. So it's kind of like, okay, so you've been given this opportunity. You, you're not quite sure where it's leading to, um, but it's important to take a step forward, right? Just just take a step forward and, and trust in the guidance that's coming for you. Um, here with the writer, you know, the writer brings in movement, uh, forward movement. It also can be a messenger bringing in a message. But this is like, yeah, the message of hope, the message of joy coming in here for you. <clears throat> so even though you're kind of in your head about it, it's important to follow what, take a, take inventory, follow what is, what will lead to joy, what you feel, like is this gonna bring me joy? <laughs> so like that. And then the action card here, it's like the advice here is talking about really taking a deeper look at those things in the past that <clears throat> sorry that have you know that you kind of regret take a deeper look at that and again take forward what you have learned but leave the rest behind because it's no longer uh, serving you but it's important to look at those things because that's kind of where the battle is coming in right so um, spirit is asking you just to take a look at that deeper and release some of those things. No need to take them along in this moving forward in this new energy, whatever that energy looks like for you. Okay, so let's take an angel card for you. And we have celebration, and that really goes with this card as well. Celebrate, celebrate. You celebrate this new option opportunity. And um, yeah, look to the things that are thriving and celebrate those things, right? Be in a spirit of celebration. And that will definitely bring you out of this Five of Cups. Um, there. And healing. 
So that's bringing in the healing there. Okay. Um, taking that time to heal from those past things. And, uh, and with the healing card coming here, that means you have uh, your angels and, and spirit around you bringing that healing in so that you can open up to the new coming, the new beautiful energy coming in. And answered prayer. So whatever this is coming in, this is an answered prayer. You've been praying for this. So take, his, take it as such. So I, I, I pray that uh, ones, wherever this energy uh, was resonating with you, that um, you understand the path that you're on and the path that you're taking of healing and celebration and moving into that new for you. So blessings to you. And I will see you all uh, next time. Hi, group two. And here we are. You're the deck you chose, love is love deck. First, we will start with an overall energy card. But let's check in. Group two, what is spirit advice, um, direction for you? What does spirit have group two? So the vision I'm getting, group two, is I'm seeing you standing on top of a mountain and you can just, you're looking out and you are just hand on your hip, you're looking out like you've conquered, you've conquered that last bit and you're on the top of the world right now and you're just looking out and just enveloping the view and enjoying that space where you're at. So let's take a look what spirit's bringing in with that. And we have the Knight of Wands for you coming in. So really you you have moved forward and you you've like you've taken that step and you you made it obviously in the vision you made it to that top of the mountain whatever that mountain is for you and Rumi this, these are my this is the Rumi deck and Rumi says the Alif rejoices and fulfills your wishes so a wish fulfillment okay coming for so let's see what that we'll put that right here and we will move on to the more depth part of this else what does all that mean direction advice you have the ten of swords here in the middle and the knight of wands the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So twice you have the Knight of Wands there. You have the Emperor. And the Five of the Swords. So I am seeing here that it's been quite a... Like you, you took it and... Um, you went for it, like you, you went for what you desired to go for, even though with the Ten of Swords here, against, you know, against some odds there, you, you have some people, possibly, you know, the energy is different for all of you. We have a lot, this is a general reading, so this is group two. For some of you feeling like against all odds that you, you press forward to, f to find fulfillment for yourself, which was awesome, which is awesome. But um, you, you definitely with the Ten of Swords here, feeling um, wounded, like even through your woundedness, you were able to move forward and that's beautiful. And then you have the Emperor coming. So the Emperor coming in here, giving you that, uh, that understanding, that deeper, uh, understanding and coming from that higher 
a, a higher, like, like the vision I saw of, of y'all standing on top of the mountain, that higher perspective and that foundation and that, like, um, like, this is who I am. I'm going, I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. And that shows you here. And even though with that 10 of swords, that, that pain that could have stopped you is not stopping you because you have come from a higher place. With the five of swords here, I also see though that um, there's still a little bit that you are battling through. So let's take a look at that. Still some stuff that you're working through but you've worked through so much, so keep going. So whatever this looks like for you, um, Spirit's like, you can do this, keep, keep going. You, you, you've worked through the 10 of swords, you're down to five swords. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, keep, keep going, keep going. You've got this. You've got this with the emperor here. Yeah, so things that you have, okay, let's, let's get the rest of this. Okay, so let's. Okay, we'll start here. So yes, um, with the emperor and the whip, so that's kind of like, yeah, you, you, you took hold of it. You you took control of it. You took a hold of it, and you, yeah, getting it into shape, getting yourself into shape, and and taking back your ground, so to speak. And here it's kind of like this letting, kind of letting go of with the ten of swords and the knight of wands and the coffin. This combination is talking about letting some stuff go right like that pain that under coming to the knowledge and understanding that that part of your life is done you're able to let that energy go and move forward with healing and um what is that word uh fulfillment healing fulfillment and a deeper understanding of yourself and here we have the, the house and the five of swords. So it's, but you're still trying to find out kind of who you are and where you fit in. And um, there's still a little bit of a battle there, but it's not big because it's, you know, this isn't a major arcana. Um, and I do see victory for you, but you're, it looks like you're still trying to find your spot there. But with the emperor marrying it, um, I do see that you will find you will find your space. You will find your spot. You are victory. I see you at that top of the hill. I see you going there. I did it. I did it. And you have this higher perspective, this higher view, a deeper understanding of who you are, and I see it happening for you. And the spirit is encouraging you. Um, in this because you got it, you can do this and you will be rewarded within your own, within your own spirit, doing this for yourself, bringing this love and light to yourself. Okay. I'm going to draw some angel cards for you. So whatever this energy is for you guys, you are getting that victory over it. Listening. Focus. And emerging. Yep. So, yeah, this is awesome, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. So you listened, you stopped and listened, and you're listening to your heart. You're, I'm getting the 
goosebumps. So um, you are listening to your soul self and your desire, you know, your own desires, your heart, your intuition. You've done, you are listening and you're, you're making this movement, right, of letting go and um, learning and growing and moving forward. But here, so the focus comes in here with the emperor. Um, you're focused and you're determined. You're determined to get to that, the top of this, on top of this, right? You're determined and focused and you're bringing that focus in there. You're listening here. And then here is emerging. This is the butterfly emerging, right? And so you are emerging. That makes sense with the five of swords in the home here and emerging into you and your um, beautiful full self. So I'm excited for you group too. So blessings to you. And um, uh, I'm sending you lots of love and healing and joy with this, right? Blessings. I'll see you next time. All right, group three, here we are. And here's the deck you chose. But first, we're going to draw an overall energy card for this reading. So, uh, group three, advice, direction. I just spirit want to bring in for you group three. Three. So group three, I, I'm getting a vision of you just kind of comfortably sitting on the couch, kind of looking out the window and, and a real peaceful feeling and you have a book in your hand and you're just kind of almost like a nostalgic feeling, but it's a good peaceful in the now feeling and reading the book and being more peaceful looking out the window. So let's see what spirit's bringing in with that. Okay, so we have the Fool coming in for you. This is the Rumi deck. So let's see what Rumi is bringing in with the Fool here. He says, be foolish so that your heart may be at peace. So really taking that, um, taking that time of doing something just where you just don't have to really think about it or I mean, there's no stress involved. There's no planning. It's just kind of like, I'm just going to do this thing. Whether it's like the vision I got and that's you sitting and just doing nothing and, and nothing is pulling at you that you have to go do this or you have to go do that. It's, it's giving you that permission just to sit and be for a little bit. But whatever that energy is bringing in for you. Okay, so that's the overall energy. Let's see what else the Spirit is bringing in with that message for you. Okay, so that's beautiful to start with. The Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Okay, so it looks like, you know, coming here, we have the Six of Pentacles, and that's just really a, you know, a, a real secure place to be, whether it's in your health or wealth or what that looks like for you. It's a really, a very comfortable place to be where you can, you can, you're able to give and, 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 um, you have enough that you're able to you're able to give out and like that kind of thing that kind of energy with this so feeling good here with the six of pentacles with that ability to offer to others as well okay in the middle here we have the ten of cups and so you can see with the ten of cups that there's a lot of joy there and um, love lots of love fulfillment there and joy and happiness and and family and everything is just as as it should be you know what i'm saying 
Okay. And then it's crossed with the Page of Cups. So it's almost like not only are you fulfilled, but there's even, there's new coming in there. There's new, um, you know, bringing even more of a message of love for you. So possibly with the, the Six of Pentacles here and this message coming into this direction, it's almost like possibly that you are a vessel of bringing um, a message of love and hope to someone else. And that would make sense with the Three of Swords here. I feel like you have such beautiful fulfillment here that it's possible that you're going to be able to bring someone else a message of hope that's in that's hurting um, someone in your life may have um, had some um, a history of uh, some painful things happen to them and loss and hurt and and also possibly um, for some of you that you may have a friend that this could be like words have hurt them it doesn't mean like physical pain or you know like that kind of thing but more of an emotional pain here and that you're able to bring in some enlightenment and love to fill in and help um, bring direction for that friend or loved one friend loved one whoever that is in your life for some of you this you have all of this in your life you have this love and joy and um, you're in a really balanced beautiful place and this message of love is to you. So if you are feeling that part of you is stuck here in this past pain and hurts, and it's not allowing you to fully live out this joy and love that you're surrounded with, um, it's time to take a look and bring this message of love to this area of your life, okay? So let's take a look at it a little deeper. Love, love is the answer right there. Love encompasses all things. Love brings in healing. Love brings in joy. Love brings in enlightenment. It just is all things. And then I see it coming in there for whatever, whoever this is, whether it's you, a loved one, or a friend. Okay. So you have the snake here. And the tower here, and the tree here. So coming in here, you have the tower with the six of pentacles. So it, it really is that talking about that you are very established there and and set. Um, not only, you know, financially security, but also. It's bringing that ability to um, go within, and you can spend a lot of time within yourself and reach some of those areas of, of um, understanding, and that gives you the ability to give back out, right? Okay, so moving this direction here, you have um, with the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups here, but mostly I feel like the snake is coming with the page of cups and it's it's talking about being really um, succinct I, I see it uh, with being succinct so it's, it's shedding that old skin and being being precise that's it precise with your words and your love um, hit the mark with your love with the message hit the mark okay so that's what I keep hearing hit the mark with your love with your message of love okay and you're bringing this healing with the tree here as is above is it is as below and, um, and bringing in that message of love and support and healing for this so beautiful 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 message here okay now I'm going to do angel cards for you
signs. Surrender and release. And serenity. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful, guys. All right. So here we have surrender and release. Um, and, you know, that's talking about, you know, you, you have... You have these gifts, you have these abilities, you have the, this love, um, and you have security within yourself now. And so it's kind of like um, surrendering some of that to help others now, you know? You know, you've, you've, you've got this, so it's time to surrender some of that and to, to help uh, other other parts of yourself, or again, whatever this energy is that's talking for for you, yourself, uh, a loved one, or a family member, or whatever, whoever this is in your life, okay? And then signs here. So look, the Spirit is saying, look for those signs. Look for the signs. Um, look for the messages. Um, it, they're there. So if you feel like, oh, I don't know if I... The messages will be there, okay? So look for all the, the signs. And serenity here is just talking about that healing, bringing in that balance and serenity. And, um, and that takes me right back to the vision that I was given at the beginning of this. And the cards just went away. <laughs> um, so it, talk, it reminds me of, you know, from the beginning of uh, the message here, um, let me go ahead and, and move this on. Uh, oops. Okay, sorry about that. So it takes me back to the vision, um, group three, of you sitting on that couch. And that is exactly what I was feeling. I was feeling serene. I was feeling peaceful. And I was feeling okay about being there. So and reading that book and looking out and just that serenity. So beautiful, beautiful reading group three. Thank you for stopping in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one. Take care.